back to the time he goes in, he has to over the grip. When he, usually when he wants to choke, he wants to pull me down to the choking arm. Uh, the choking arm always wants to be down for him. For me to escape, it's better if I can be to the opposite side where the choking arm is up. So if I'm here and I get to pick what side I want to go, the first thing I want to do is, is, is protect my chin. Get my chin down and protect the choke with my hands. So I'm defending the choke with my hand. My chin is down. Turn my chin away. Uh, I want to roll to this side so I can roll to this side. And I'm here. Okay. Another way is if he pulls me to the side, I can swing this leg. I can use this leg and I can swing up to come to my elbow just like this. Once I'm to my elbow, I'm going to lean my weight forward and roll myself to this side. Okay, when I do that, I want to pinch down on this arm tight. As soon as I hit here, I want to try to take my shoulders and bring, bring them to the mat just like this. So notice that, that I'm bridging and I'm trying to drive my shoulders to the mat. The more I can get my shoulders to the mat, the more I'm gonna uh, not have to worry about this choke coming on. Okay, now once I get to this point, he can't really choke me because his, his uh, chest is not on my back. It's gonna be really hard for him to choke me from this, this, uh, this angle. So now from here, I'm gonna start trying to drive my shoulders to the mat. I'm gonna work on clearing this foot down. Okay, now, once I clear this foot, I'm going to step this foot over the top of it. I have to worry about this foot now. I don't want this foot coming over my hip because if it does, he's going to mount me. So from here, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come and I'm going to grab his pants and I'm going to keep this foot. He's going to try to step this foot over my hip and I'm just going to block it from coming over my hip. Okay, once I get there, I'm going to scoop my hip out and I'm going to drive my weight into it. Once I get to where my, my ribs are on his body, I'm going to hug his hip, and then I'm going to come to the side control on him, okay? Again, if he puts me on the choking side, I, just, I can swing this leg. I swing this leg and come up to my elbow. Once I'm up to my elbow, I'm going to keep my chin down still. I'm still protecting, protecting uh, for the choke. And I just keep my head over my hips. Notice I'm leaning over my hips. If I lean back, he's going to be able to pull me back, okay? So I got to lean over my hips. My head's going to be over my hips. Here, I roll to the side. As soon as I get to the side, I'm already bridging and putting my head against the back. Now I take the angle away from him, for, for him to choke me. And my hands go down here. This hand stops this leg from coming over my hip. And I just kill this leg off my hip. I step over it. My hip comes and escapes out. He's going to try to maybe turn into me. I'm just pushing and driving my weight. Notice that I fly my weight on top of him. When I do that, I hug the hip, and then I come to the side control. Okay? One more time. He pulls me to the choking side. I swing my leg. I come up to my elbow. I transfer to this side. Right away, I drive my head to the mat. Okay? I try to get my shoulders to the mat. From here, now I'm safe. I don't really have to worry about the choke too much. I want to make sure I'm pinching this arm so that I, he can't take this arm out though. Because if you pull this arm out, then he can just switch his hands and then come back around my head with this hand to choke. So I want to pinch it and trap this hand. This hand comes, grabs the pants. This one peels the foot off. I step over the top. My hips go. Now I start driving my weight on top of it. Notice my hips aren't on the ground here. I'm driving my weight on him. Now from here, I can let go of the hip. I'll grab these, and I'll come here. Now I'm in the side control. Okay? Questions? Let's do it.